Crystal again. Today we're going to learn how to do this um, little Victorian looking purse or clutch made out of the crocodile stitch with a few embellishments. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this project I'm using a 4.25 size G crochet hook. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make a chain of 70 which I already did. And then we're going to slip stitch it all the way on this other end. Slip stitch the two ends together. I want to try to keep your chain as straight as possible. Try not to twist it too much. And you just stick it in the first stitch. Bring it through, and then you slip stitched. Okay, and then you want to make a chain of three. One, two, three. Let's see which way my chain's going here. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to make one double crochet in every stitch around. Wrap, go through, grab it, pull it back through, three loops on your hook, pull through the first two, and then pull through the last two, and that's a double. Wrap, go through the next stitch, pull it through. Three loops on your hook, wrap, pull through the first two, wrap, pull through the, the last two. Okay, wrap, go through the next stitch, grab a yarn, pull through, three loops on your hook, grab it, pull through the first two. Grab it, pull through the last two. Wrap, go to the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, three loops on your hook again, grab your yarn, pull through the first two, grab your yarn, pull through the second two. And those are the doubles. Wrap, go through the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, three loops on your hook, go through the first two, go through the next two. Okay, you want to continue this, one double crochet in each of the stitches, all the way around your chain. So you get back up here to the beginning and I'll meet you right back up here and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I made it back around. And then what you want to do is slip stitch in the top of the chain three. Get in there. Pull it through. Then you want to go around and count your stitches. Counting this chain three because it's going to act as a double crochet. You need to have 70 double crochets. Stitch count does matter on this project, so you want to make sure that you got the correct number. And I already counted, and I'm okay. So, once you slip stitch, you're going to want to chain one. Okay, and then you're one of that's how I do it. I kind of put my work together like this. We're going to start making the little crocodile stitches. We're going to do half doubles down the side of this post. I'm sorry. Doubles down the side of this post. Double stitches. Of the chain three post. Okay, so I kind of hold it like this. 
and you want to wrap your yarn. Go through that post, underneath that post. Grab your yarn, pull it back. Three loops on your hook. Go ahead and do your double stitch like that. And you got one double right there. You're going to want to do five down this post. So there's one. We're going to do another. Two. Four. And there's five. Five double crochets down this, that post. And you're going to want to chain one. So I always turn my work again. And the post right next to what we just did, this one right here, we're going to do five double crochets up it. So, this post right here. Hold all this work down. The one right next to the what we just did. Here's what we just did. And here's the post next to it. So I fold everything down so my post sticks up. And then I do five doubles up it. There's one. There's three. And there's five. And when you flip it back over, this is what it looks like. You got your first little crocodile stitch. It's not hard once you get the hang of it. Okay. We're going to go move over and do another one. But in between each one, you want to do a chain one. Okay. And then we're going to skip five of these posts and start making the crocodile stitch on the sixth one. So one, two, three, four, five. Here's the sixth one. I'm gonna pop it up so I can see it. Okay. We're gonna do five doubles down the post just like we did for the first one. One. Two.
three. Four. Okay, there's half half your crocodile stitch. There's five. Remember you want to chain one in between. Turn it over. Now we're gonna go back to the next post here. Right here. Here's what we just did. Here's the next post. We're gonna go five doubles up this post. Three. Four. Five. And there's our second. Okay. You want to chain one because we're going to make a new one, new scale. Want to skip five of the doubles. One, two, three, four, five. There's your sixth one you want to go in, start on. Pull it up. And we're going to do five doubles down the post. Two. Three. Four. Five chain one, turn it, go to the next post right beside it, and do five doubles up the post. One, Two, three, four, five, chain one. Skip your five. One, two, three, four, five. Start again on your six. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way back to your first crocodile stitch. And I'll meet you back up there in just a second. 
Okay, I made it back around. Don't forget to chain one. And we're going to slip stitch right up here at the top into that very first chain one stitch we did. Now. Should look something like that. Should have five rows, five posts in between each of your stitches if you did it right. That's what we want, anyways. Okay, we're going to move on to the next row. And these stitches are, are staggered, like there'll be one in the center now, and the next will be back on top. So we need to get over here to the center spot. So we're going to have to slip stitch over there. So, so put a few slip stitches in here. You can just go directly through the center of this one, that's fine. Slip stitch. And you know there's five posts in between each row, so you need to get to the third one, because that would be the center. This one right here. Stretch through this first one, and then through the second one. I need to get to this third one right here. So there's two on each side. So we'll slip stitch through that one. Okay. Now we're going to make a row of posts again because there has to be the post for the stitches to go, the crocodile stitches to hook onto. So we're going to count a chain of three, two. Three. It counts as a double crochet. And we're going to go back into the same stitch that we just put this chain of three in. The third post. Back into it again. We're going to have it a double in it. So we have two doubles in this third post. Okay. So we're going to continue with just one double in the next five stitches at the top. It's one, it's two, here's the center, you're going to just go all the way through it like that. See, so. That counts as three. Okay. Here's the fourth one. And here's the fifth one. Okay. Should bring us right back to the center. And it does. Brings us to the third stitch again in that group of five. So you're going to want to do two doubles in that third stitch of this group of five. So you do one and you do another one in that same spot. And this is where we're going to hook our cro crocodile stitches on to next. We're going to go down this first one and then back up this one. Okay? We're going to gonna gonna want to double in the next five stitches. There's one. Two. You can go right through the center for your third one. Three. Five should bring us back to the center again. It's going to bring us to the third stitch in our group of five, which we need to do two doubles in. One back in that same spot. Two. 
Now we need to do five doubles again. So one, two, and after this double right here, I don't want to confuse you, but it's kind of hard to see where the next stitch is. The third one is always going to be in the middle here. Because it kind of looks like there's another one. But just go through the middle like that. So it's two on each side of the scale. And the one in the center would make you five. Hope that didn't confuse you. But here's three. five. It brings us to the center again, the third post of these five doubles. So you want to do two in this one. Okay, and then you want to continue this pattern all the way around until you get back up to here and I'll meet you there in a second. I'm coming up on my last double here. And back to the beginning where I have my two doubles together. Slip stitch in the top of the third stitch on your chain three. Okay. And this is all going to be hidden. It's not you're not going to see it. Okay, we're going to start doing these crocodile stitches again. Same way we did them before. Chain one with the first one. And here's your two doubles and the same stitch. So you want to start with the first one. And do five doubles down it. One, two, three, four. Five, chain one, turn it around, and we're going to go down this stitch that's, these two stitches were the two together, so we're going to go back up, th up this one. One, two, three, four, and five, and there's our stitch in between these two just like we want it and then we're going to chain one and skip these five one two three four five it should be on these two that you put in the same stitch we're going to go five down it chain one five up it and we're going to skip the five till we get to the next set of double. Chain one in between its scale for each stitch. Five down it. Chain one. Five up it. Chain one in between. Go to your next set of doubles. Five down. Chain one. Five up. Chain one in between. 
and go to the next set and do that all the way around till you get to here and I'll meet you back at this spot. Just finished my last crocodile stitch. I need to chain one and then slip stitch into that first chain one that we did on top of this stitch. Okay, there we go. Two rows done. It's looking pretty good. Okay, now we're going to make a row of our posts again. So we need to do some slip stitches. Okay, we're slipping over to the middle. So we need to be in a third stitch of these five posts. So this one. Okay, and I'm in it. So we're going to want to do a chain three. Counts as a double crochet. And then one more double back in that same spot. Okay, then we're going to continue like usual. Five doubles. One, two, back through the center of this one, three, four. Five, okay, should be our, there's your five posts, should be at the third one, you need to do two in this third one, so we'll go over here and do two doubles in this spot, one, two. Okay, we'll continue that pattern all the way around to the beginning, and I'll meet you right back up here. I'm back here to the beginning, and again, you want to slip stitch right here into the top of the chain three. Okay, there's another row of posts. And remember, you won't be able to see any of these. So we're going to do a row of the crocodile stitch again. Here's our first two together. So we're going to want to chain one. Because remember, this chain one is what we slip stitch in when we come back all the way around with our, with our stitches. So Five doubles down this post. Chain one. Five doubles up the next post. Chain one in between each crocodile stitch. And then we're just going to go and Count five, 
and these two are together is what we're going to do our next crocodile stitch on. And there'll be five posts in between. One, two, three, four, five. You go five down, chain one, five up, chain one in between. Find in that set of doubles. Five down, chain one, five up, chain one in between. When you get all the way back around, you want to slip stitch into that chain one space that we just made. And then you want to start doing another row of posts where you slip stitch over to the, to the center of the next one, like we did. And it'll always be, the center will always be the third stitch between the five back. So when you get that row post on, do your crocodile stitch on it, and then continue that up to the length of your purse. Um, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do yet. You can do it as tall as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mine, and I'll let you know how many I did in just a second. Um, I went ahead and finished. I did seven rows of the crocodile stitch. Um, you can do more if you want. I just wanted to make mine a smaller clutch type bag. So now I'm going to go ahead and sew it shut from the bottom. Okay. Now you can really kind of sew it up any way you want. You can sew it up with a slip stitch. You can use a darning needle. single crochet whatever works for you I'm gonna go ahead and sew it up with slip stitch so I'm just gonna start it here and I'm gonna grab a stitch on this side and then I'm gonna match it up with opposite stitch on the other side and I'm just gonna slip stitch it through And I'm going to do this all the way down. Just match them up. I'm going to hide my tail as I go. Here. And here. And slip stitch them. And you want to do this all the way down. It's really easy. Do you get to the end. And then go ahead and tie off and hide, hide your tail. And I'll meet you back up in just one minute. I got it all sewed up. That's what it looks like so far. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put like a little brim up here. So, grab your yarn. And you can start anywhere you want. I'm gonna start right up here in the, in the corner. Find a stitch to start with. Pull your yarn through. Chain one to lock. Now go right back through that same stitch and do a single crochet. Okay? And we're gonna, what we're going to do is one single crochet and every stitch around. Make sure you see how there's kind of two rows. There's the stitches in front and then there's the main back row. We want to go across this main back row. And when you get to here, you can do your single crochet through the center. But make sure that you stay in the main back row all the other times, if, if, if possible. So, go ahead and do a few. You can hide your towel along the way. And we're here in the, oh, try not to split your yarn. 
here in the middle here, you can just go ahead and do one right through there. Keep going. Okay, go ahead and finish that. One single crochet in the back part. And every stitch around, and I'll meet you back up here at our starting point. It around to my first single crochet and I'm just going to go ahead and do a single crochet into that single crochet but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a stitch marker because I'm bad about losing my place where I started just use this piece of yarn and then I'm just going to sing keep going single crochet right there Okay, I'm going to do some de decreases now, some single crochet decreases. Try to make this a little bit smaller on top here. I'm going to do nine single crochets and then on the tenth one I'm going to do a decrease. So I just did one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, on this tenth one, I'm going to do a single crochet decrease. It's where I go into the next one, and I pull it through, but I don't yarn over. I'm going to go into the next one after that, grab it, and pull through. Then I'll have three loops on my hook, and I want to go through all three. And that's the decrease. It brings these two stitches into one. So, I'm going to do another nine singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then do another decrease. In this stitch, don't yarn over and pull through. Go into the next one, grab it with three loops on your hook. Now we'll yarn over and pull through. Okay, so go ahead and continue that all around. Do the nine stitches, nine single crochets, and then do the one single crochet decrease on the tenth stitch. So do that all the way around, and I'll meet you back up here at the beginning in just a second around. I actually had six stitches left so since I couldn't do the full nine I just went up worked it up to the last two and I'm just going to single crochet or single crochet decrease in these last two stitches. If you have a few more or a few less it's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay I'm back up to my stitch marker so I'm just going to move it up. It shows I'm at the beginning. And I am going to do that exact same thing. Again, I'm going to do nine single crochets and then a single crochet decrease. So there's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and then I'm going to do another decrease. Just like that. 
Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then in this one, grab it. In the next one, grab it. Three on your hook. Pull through. And there's another decrease. Okay. Continue that pattern again all the way back to your stitch marker and I'll meet you up there. Round of my stitch marker and I'm going to move it up. And single crochet. Okay, now we're just going to I'm going to do single crochet from now on. Um, those decreases were just kind of an estimate. If you did them at 8 instead of 9 or 10 instead of 9, it's no big deal. I just kind of guess. Just I just wanted to make it a little bit smaller at the top here, and I think that it looks okay now. Um, I'm going to be putting a button on it. So I want to make a buttonhole on this next round so on the front so I'm going to count and find my center you want to do the same in case you had different stitches than me just from this corner to this corner okay I got 30 so I'm going to count 15. Okay, I want to leave three chains. For my button. So. There's my center, so I'm going to do the one before it, mark it, and the one after it. So, you got three chains. There's your center. And then you got the one space before it marked and the space after it marked. That way you know to leave these three empty. Okay, I'm going to kind of eyeball it and make sure that it's in the center. That it looks good enough to me. You want to go ahead and do the same. Okay, I think that looks okay. So we're gonna start back. Oh, start back here at our stitch marker. And we're going to do a single crochet all around in every stitch, except for when we get to these. We'll go ahead and let me go ahead and get up to them here. No decreases or anything. Just, we're done decreasing. Just single crochet from here on out. Okay, I'm coming up to my buttonhole stitch marker. 
Okay, I'm going to single crochet in the one before it. And since there are three chains open, I'm going to do a chain of three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to single crochet into the space after the next stitch marker. Okay, and there's your little buttonhole. I'll make sure that my button will go through it. You might, if you have a bigger button, you leave more chains open than three, and then however many chains you left open, that's how many you chain for the space. Because some people might want to use a bigger button, but yeah, that's big enough for mine. Okay, you can take these out. I ain't gonna need these markers anymore. Okay, you want to go ahead and single crochet in every stitch around. Like this. Back up to your stitch marker and I'll meet you back there. Back up to my stitch marker. And we're just going to continue to do the same thing here. Move my stitch marker up. And you don't have to use a stitch marker if you can keep track of where you're going. I'm just terrible at it. I always lose my spot. And I got to end up counting everything. Okay, we're going to want to single crochet in every stitch around again. When you get to your buttonhole, the chain on it, we're just going to single crochet the chain. Since I made three chain spaces, I'm going to do three singles, one through each space. And remember, if you have a bigger button, you got to make, you need to make, um, however many chains you skip, that's, or how many stitches you skip, that's how many chains you need to make like that. Or you don't even have to put a button on it. It's really up to you. Okay. I want to go ahead and continue around to stitch marker and then after that go one more row. A single crochet all the way around. So um, and then we'll look at it and see if we think that's finished with them rows of single crochet. And then when I got to my stitch marker instead of doing a single crochet into it, I just did a slip stitch and then I tied off. It just kind of evened out the row. Um, this is what we got. So, I'm going to put this on. It's going to go on the back like this. So, when I button it, it comes through and it holds it together. Um, if you watch my other videos, you know that I always go to auctions and resale shops and I buy costume jewelry and stuff, and this is how I um, embellish my purses. And this actually is not a button. It's a very old earring. I just bent the post. But, I mean, you just sew a button on if that's what you have. I always just repurpose this stuff. <laughs> Give it a new life. Make it something that it wasn't. And I'm just going to stick it in the back behind. This is how I hook mine on, and then when it's a shot, and it is not gonna come off there. But if you have a button, you go ahead and just do a couple of whip stitches in the back to hold it on. Okay, and that's how my bag is gonna shut. And then for the handles. If you don't want handles, you don't have to have any. Or you can crochet handles or whatever you got. You can use a chain or something if you like this if you want. It's really up to you. I'm going to use these beads that I got here. 
what I did is I strung them on I have a on this number 10 thread is what they're strung on. You can get this at Walmart. It's what they use to make doilies and stuff. And then the beads, I got these online, I think off of eBay or something, but I imagine they have them at Walmart too. These are uh, the four millimeter size, but if you want to get bigger, you can get bigger. And I'm just gonna sew these on with my needle. the corners okay up here I'm just gonna put a couple little whip stitches with the thread not even gonna be able to tell it that thread because it's so thin Make sure it's tight on there Hide the thread. Just weave it in like you do your yarn. Nice and tight. Okay, and I'm gonna go over to the other side. Same thing, I'm gonna make sure all my beads are tight though. Corner of it. And do some stitches, like I said, you won't be able to see this thread as it's really thin. Okay, and then you want to hide this corner. I'm going to go ahead and put another one on, and I'll meet you right back here in just one second. And sewed another row of beads on, just like I did the first one. And that's it. That's the bag. Easy enough. Let me know what you think. If you decide to make this bag, please leave me a picture. I'd love to see it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other bag tutorials. Thanks again. Have a nice day.